I've never been better. I can feel it. Today's the day, Randy. Look, take you pissed yourself, bud. You pissed yourself too much away. Uh, Garver and me was getting engaged to Lucy. I'll drink to that, bud. Mr. Lee, the car! Ah, shit. Fuck her, bud. Let's go down and see what liquor we can salvage. Want to get drunk tonight, Ran? Yeah, Mr. Lee. Quiet on the set, please. Camera rolling, sound rolling, and action. Last question. Uh, in season eight of Trailer Park Boys, uh, we see Ricky using these marijuana hash coins as a form of currency. Mm. If marijuana were legalized and people were able to grow this plant and use it for bartering, use it as a currency. What kind of effect do you think that would have on poverty? I think that marijuana was always legal until about 1930, somewhere in there, when DuPont and some other company lobbied the government to make hemp illegal so they could sell their new nylon and their new fabrics. Before that, it, marijuana was available. Doctors had it in their bags. They sold it at, in pharmacies. Queen Elizabeth or Queen uh, Victoria used it for her bad periods. They've been using it in places like China for 4,500 years. It was the first known plant that was used for curative purposes. I think that when people, like there is something really nice about getting stoned at the end of the day when your work is all done. If, if, for me, if I have a couple of totes, I get very creative. And I mean, the next day you look back on what you wrote or what you painted and you go, huh, oh. <laughs> but who did it hurt? I mean, seriously. Well, really, the thing is, is if, if the poor people had hash coins, yeah. they'd get all the food they wanted. Like, you could take a hash coin to the Burger King and the guy at the friggin' drive through would say, here you go, bud, and give you all kinds of stuff. I'm suggesting so that... I think that it would basically probably take over money. No. And everyone would start to no. be paid no. in hash. Familiarity and breeds contempt. Right? So I then think you'd go usage... to a vending machine no. and you'd shove in your hash coin, no. and then Sorry. you'd get Twinkies and you'd Look. get chips. Look, some right? things just don't they catch on. They would probably on. go, doo -doo -doo -doo. No. this is Man. good. Look. So have you ever seen hash. a $2 bill? Yes. An American $2 bill? I have. I have an American $2 bill, and a lot of people don't even believe, they don't think, think it's real. And that's the same for marijuana. A lot of people think that marijuana is, is the devil's instrument. They do. But those same people, they don't think that about cigarettes and alcohol. Why? Because it's been accepted and taxed and used by the government. To, like it's, what did Marx, was it Marx or Engels, someone said, religion's the opiate of the people? Well, religion has gone by the wayside. Go into any big city or town and the beautiful churches, you have a steeple here that is just incredibly beautiful, right here in Madison, Wisconsin, and it's beautiful. But compare it to the edifices of the, of the, of the monetary religion now with concrete and glass, huge towering buildings. They are the new church, my son, and nothing is going to replace the greed and grab for money. doesn't matter how much marijuana you make into hash points. It ain't going to work. You know why? Because Donald Trump and I think if I had pocket full of hash coins, I'd be the richest guy in the world. Randy. So I think you could go buy a nice new car, just slide a bunch of hash coins, like they'd be about this big. That big Randy, that, you know, you know be like, here you go, man, and then the guy would be like, Randy, yeah, let's yeah, but party. Where, yeah, but where are you gonna get the hash coins? You make it. Yeah, yeah. Well, how are you gonna make it? Well, you just get a, a grow off in your basement. Okay, that's me. That's labor. The means of labor, Randy. So in other Do words, you know what the Malthusian doctrine is? Like, Randy, I taught you this before. I'm not Randy, I'm Pat. Well, okay, Pat. Sure. Randy. You're not even Mr. Leahy, you're John Dunsworth. Just wait, I'll be Leahy. See, I'll I told Leahy. you, he's got ADD, he's fucked, and he's an asshole. Okay. The bottom line is I wish everyone had hash coins, because if 
If someone didn't have money and wanted to pay me, I'd take a hash coin and Randy, say, owe me nothing. Randy, right? It'd be I like, told you. I got no money, but I got The means coin. of production are outstripped by the, the arithmetical means of production are outstripped by the, ge what is it? Not geometric, what's the other one? Tra trajectory. No, no, Randy, I taught you this, Randy. I'm not Randy, I'm Pat. Randy! Boy, Mr. Lane, Randy! You are Ra not Mr. Take Randy. off your glasses. You're John. <laughs> Take off your shirt. No, I'm not. <laughs> Not yeah, it was Robert Malthus. He, he was a, a reverend, but he came up with this theory that says that that population is going to outstrip production. I think that actually Canada should switch their monetary money to hash coins because then our dollar. Are you glad you made that drop. question? Are you, you really not drop? Oh, You'd be like, oh, good, the Canadian blah, dollar blah, now blah, costs blah, this blah. much to get an American dollar. Oh no, they've got hash coins. It's worth two American dollars because it's good hash. <laughs> Right? It's really if, good at if, if you made your money smokable, wow. Here's the thing. It's more fun to pretend to be drunk than it is to be drunk. But I think it is. the, drug, the drug dealers would definitely yeah. be poorer but the if there is, was just money hash. If you knew, <laughs> right? If you knew that bites, they'd be pissed off. All you had to do is just tune your pissed. brain to say, I am now going to be, uh, I'm going to draw upon my opioid noises. You didn't just shit yourself, did you? It smells like shit. <laughs> I think you did, man. <laughs> Ooh. Gross, man. Ooh. Ooh. That's what happens when you get older. Oh. Right, thanks, man. Thank you.